what I've got here is a bent up paper clip that's holding a piece of flint and I'm going to take a lighter and heat the flint up until it's glowing red hot then I'll move up here and turn this nylon cord that's holding up this 10 pound sledgehammer and the sledgehammer will fall on the flint and hopefully the flint will explode into a shower of sparks I'll just put my camera on my tripod and uh, we'll give it a shot That didn't work so well. Uh, I think the actual problem was in my paperclip design. I mean, the, the sledgehammer really crushed this down, which is good, but you can see the paperclip pretty much held all of the flint in. It didn't let any of it go out, so uh, yeah, I'm going to reset and this time just use no paper clip. All the other times I've used a paper clip, it's worked great, but maybe today isn't my lucky day, so I'll just put a piece of flint there and heat it up and see how it goes. So for the second attempt, I've removed my paper clip and I propped the flint up on a little rock just to provide some insulation from that cold steel plate down below, or else it wouldn't heat up too well. And I'm also using a proper torch. There we go. That's a little better. This time I'm going to try something a little bit different. I have a tin can, paper clip coming out of it, and a flint, piece of flint on the end. I'm going to heat the flint up until it's glowing orange hot, and then take this piece of wood and play golf with a glowing piece of flint. Should be pretty exciting. I'm going to just put my high-speed camera on, and I'll give it a shot. All right. For the grand finale, I took this fire start I had and chopped off about a quarter inch of the end of it. So now I'm using about 10 times more flint than before. And I've also taped a, that steel plate I was using earlier to the head of a golf putter. And now I'll pretty much literally be playing golf with a piece of flint. Here we go. Let me just start my high speed camera up and we'll see how it works. Whoa! You know, that was too cool not to give it another shot because I have another little piece of flint I cut off. Uh, I've moved the cameras around a little bit, so hopefully we'll get some cool angles. Uh, here we go.